Photographing birds in flight, as with all other aspects of wildlife photography, can be a really rewarding subject to capture, especially when it goes right. But with so many factors to consider, how can you make sure it goes right more times than it goes wrong? Well, if you're just starting out or you're looking to refine some skills, stay tuned for our top tips on capturing birds in flight. If we're wanting to freeze the action of the birds soaring through the sky, then we want to be using those faster shutter speeds. Somewhere around four thousandths or eight thousandths of a second will do just that. Now, if you want to capture a little bit of movement, especially in the wings, then drop your shutter speed down slightly, maybe aiming for the thousandths or two thousandths of a second. Remember though, when you're working with those really fast shutter speeds, you want to adjust your aperture and your ISO accordingly to ensure that you're letting enough light through. You might instinctively want to jump to those lower F numbers to let in as much light through your lens as possible, along with a shallow depth of field to help blur out the background. But be careful, most birds have got a large wingspan, so opting for a mid-range aperture instead can really help you out. This will ensure you get the entire bird sharp and sitting within your depth of field. If you need more light, just adjust your ISO. Composition is really important when it comes to all aspects of photography, but for birds in flight, it can be particularly difficult. And this is normally because your main focus is gonna be on actually capturing that bird rather than the composition of your shot. Best thing to do is try and position yourself where you know you'll have a clean background. Now by clean, all I mean is away from distractions. So try and not have loads of brickwork or buildings in your background, but go for maybe lots of green or lots of blue skies. The next thing is always look out for that negative space. If you can ensure that you're tracking your bird so that you've got a lot of negative space to the side of it, you're certain of a great composition at the end. When it comes to setting your camera up, pop your focus mode into either continuous AF or tracking AF. Now these two modes were specifically designed for moving subjects and will make getting your focus right so much easier. Another good tip is to pop your camera into burst mode, continuous shooting. This means that when you hit that shutter button, you're gonna take a sequence of photos. So if you do that while you're tracking that bird across the sky, at the end of it, you're gonna have at least one or two of those shots sharp and in focus. Whether you're a tripod person, a monopod person, or a I'm just gonna shoot this handheld person, stabilization is really important. To eliminate any unwanted blur and to ensure the sharpest photo possible, make sure that you've stabilized your camera, whether that is through the image stabilization system of the lens or your tripod or monopod. I hope you found these tips useful. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.